Hi, I'm Armand Beasley and welcome back to our wonderful series all celebrating everything to do with makeup. And I'm here in the fabulous Cryo in Mumbai, um, ahead of Makeup Week 2020. So um, I'm with the lovely Nitu. Thank Hello. you so much for joining us. Pleasure. So Nitu, tell me about your very diverse background <laughs> and how you got into makeup because again, my journey into makeup wasn't straightforward. Right. Um, so please tell me about yours. So uh, makeup was something you know like every girl is inclined towards or is interested in. And uh, though I don't think I was a great makeup artist till I got really trained uh, for it, but I was always somehow you know I had the flair for it. And uh, like I always say, anything which is creative, uh, you have to have a flair which can be polished. It cannot be something that can be taught to you from the scratch. Is my belief. So um, coming back to my uh, career graph. It's actually very diverse. It started, uh, you know, into the events uh, side of uh, business, and uh, I used to work as a manager with uh, two singers. And I used to Can we say? Them? Yes. So it was Shan Prabhakar and Sneha Rao. Okay. So uh, I used to handle their concerts. So you know, bookings, going there, getting the shows, you know, uh, happening, and uh, making sure everything is going right. So. Basically, that's where I started, and also I think was my introduction to the glamour, uh, you know, side of things. So, the technology and also the um, products mm -hmm. themselves have changed over Absolutely. the years. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, like as you mentioned, the technology has changed, so obviously the makeup has to adapt to uh, you know what the technology is like. Uh, today, if you, even if you pick up like a basic phone, would have an HD camera, and uh, you know things that used to work maybe 50 years. Uh, you know, back does not work today. Uh, HD will pick up everything, so you, your makeup also has to be, you know, uh, compatible to that. And now we have 4K and all these things coming in. In fact, they're already here, and we already develop the makeup, you know, which will be 4K friendly. So you have to keep evolving yourself if you want to survive in this market. Otherwise, if you're going to be frozen in time, then that's where you'll be. And do you think that Crylan? are moving forward with updating their image because obviously everybody thinks about the cake makeup yes. and Kryla, yes. because it has got such a rich history yes. within uh, the industry. Yes. So is it part of your job to really push this is this is us in the 21st century, this is Absolutely. us that we need to transfer into a new decade. Absolutely. In fact uh, you know a lot of people lack this uh, knowledge that uh, cake makeup initially was when it was when it was uh, developed, it was never developed for the camera. Egg makeup was always for theatre mm -hmm. because when somebody is on stage and you know you don't really need to worry about every single thing with the cameras. And also, everything was heightened. Absolutely. So the theatre, everything had to be bigger and larger than life. Absolutely. And also, the, the style there was yes. very stylized, where everything was a little bit more melodramatic. Yes. And now, of course, we're much more natural. Sure. So uh, it's very important that uh, you know we educate people and tell them that today, you know, when the what, what happened 70 years ago is not what is happening today. Mm -hmm. So you cannot keep following what you learned or what what was being done 70 or 50 years ago. I would say even 30 years ago, uh, you know, you cannot do it today. So you know you have to evolve. If technology is evolving, if makeup is evolving, the makeup artists also need to evolve. How do you keep yourself up to date with the trends? Uh, have you had ongoing training yourself in Absolutely. education? So we uh, have uh, you know, our international makeup artists who come to uh, India. We get at least about six to seven of them, you know, in a year. So when they come, we actually uh, block one whole day for our staff training because uh, sometimes there's so many more new products that even we're not aware of what's coming in. So <clears throat> when they come and if it's possible, they actually bring those products for us to touch, feel, and see. Uh, we play around with it. We know that then by the time it's a, you know it's in the market, we know what to do with it. Then we're not reinventing the cycle. Also, what kind of trends are happening internationally? You know because our uh, trainers are also part of our pro team. They are backstage. They're doing fashion weeks. They're doing Bambi awards. They're doing. It's always very interesting to learn. You know from them because they bring back the trends to us because. India is not, I wouldn't say, still absolutely at par with what's happening internationally. Yes, we are definitely getting there, but it's always very interesting to know what's new and how do we adapt it 
for you know, our regional application. Mm -hmm. And talking about um, products, yes. what are your three favourite products? But it's very difficult for me to choose three out of this fabulous ladies that we have. But if I had to, I would uh, choose Ultra Foundation. Okay, is that that cheeky little palette you've got there? Yes. So you've got eight shades there. Eight shades there. Now I'm not familiar with this. So this uh, foundation is basically what I really like about it is that uh, it is, uh, yes please, it's basically a satin finish foundation. It looks exactly like the skin. It's not cakey, it's not made up. Okay, so it won't oxidize, it, it won't oxidize, change, no. change. Okay. and it's not oil based, so it's okay. you know it's fantastic for our weather. It uh, doesn't, uh, so you won't have any problem with it, you know, streaking or uh, getting patchy if you're out in the sun or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fantastic, and like I said, it looks just like skin. So uh, for me, I'm really big on natural makeup. I really like to enhance the beauty that a person has, rather than take it out or you know. Uh, form a layer or make them look not like themselves. Mm -hmm. And with Krylin, your education courses um, are famous worldwide. Yes. So it's still great for makeup artists, no matter how much it's been for the industry, to come here, they can book something specific, specific yes. course on. Absolutely. Whether it's advanced bridal or whether it's. Do you do SFX? Yes, yes you do. Yes. All right, so. Again, that, and I, and I feel, I've been talking to quite a few makeup artists and a few members of the public, and SFX seems to be having more of an attraction within yes. the community. Yes. People wanting to learn how to do that. So we, uh, as a brand, I think we're the only brand currently who's offering the SFX uh, products, the variety that we offer. Yeah. And uh, yes, it's definitely catching a lot of uh, interest now because Till now, any big product uh, uh, projects that were happening, you know, uh, they were getting makeup artists from abroad to come here and do. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, that's for a lack of knowledge, b lack of products. Mm -hmm. You know, not being yes. able to get the products to achieve the look that you want was where it was kind of holding them back. Today, now the market is opening. There are different uh, academies who are only now teaching SFX and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a new anything new obviously catches everyone's uh, fancy. And that's what it is. I mean, of course, we all have been doing beauty for for the longest, and now we have something new to do. And you know, like we always say, we uh, we cater for beauty to the least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love that. That's right. Yeah. Absolutely. So, uh, on one hand, yes, it's it's all beauty, and on the other hand, we want to uh, you know have a body bloody um, things. You have know, a zombie. You want to have. Uh, Horror, you want to do anything, we have it all. To see the full spectrum of makeup and what you can do. Absolutely. Well, hopefully, you'll be able to see Nitu and her team um, in full effect on the 23rd and 24th of March 2020. You aren't going to be there, aren't you? We might, we might be there. Uh, you are, because they've been there this year and it was great to see them and hopefully they'll be there next year. And we hope to see you there for, for Makeup Week India 2020. It's just around the corner. And we've also added dates for Delhi, and that's going to be the 10th and the 11th of August. So we will see you guys there. Thanks for watching, and thank you so much. Pleasure.